look like? I'll show you. Thank you. There's a lot of holes, broken tiles there. And I need to repair there. And then my cottage should be good. This is just another structure on the other side that we'll eventually get rid of. Whew, just in time that we were able to replace those tiles. Thank goodness. A few days later though, Saturday arrived and we had guests here. So it gave Justin and I an opportunity just to kind of head out, let them enjoy the space for themselves if they wanted to. And we happened to come across the chateau located only 15 minutes from our home. It's actually a fortified castle of Montusset. So Chateau Montusset, and it's on the hilltop simply called the Mountain of Bears. But don't worry, you don't find bears in this area anymore. And this is, wow, this was quite the journey into the history of this area. You have the most magnificent views of the Nest Valley, the Chain de Perigny, and the Lannemezin Plateau. You can also see the Peak du Midi, the Peak du Bigor, and I'm going to say pretty much the whole chain of the Pyrenees. It was long owned by the kings of France since the 13th century, but in 1995, the remains finally came out of oblivion, and thanks to an association called Friends of the Chateau, they kind of helped re-fortify, maintain the area, because before it was just wild, but now it's nicely preserved and offers anybody a chance to come up for a hike. I definitely recommend this for anyone who's visiting, friends, family, guests at our cottage for our Airbnb. This is on oh, the itinerary. Wow. Definitely go bring a picnic, bring a bottle of wine, bring some chairs or not, and just take oh. in these incredible views. Isn't it great? I bet this was a bedroom. Oh. Hello, mes amis. I hope you've all been well. If you are stood here with me today, that means it is Sunday, and you guessed it, it it's a vide grenier day. I know, I can't believe it. I'm in shock. We have a vide grenier today. It's in a village just past San Godin, which you've heard me mention countless of times. I think from what I read, there's going to be 100 to 150, or was it 50 to 100? But anyways, it's a V Grenier and I'm super excited because I'm looking forward to finding some treasures for both you and myself. And uh, yeah, that really puts me in a happy mood because I love hunting, I love hunting. So today it's gonna be a beautiful day. Yesterday we had um, also 70 degree Fahrenheit weather. Today it's gonna be the same. Yesterday we stumbled upon a chateau in ruin. So uh, I want to share that with you. And then when we get home, Justin and I would like to do another haul video because like I mentioned, I think many of you like that. We enjoy sharing and talking with you and just sitting down and chatting a little bit and sharing some of our experiences. So without further ado, let's go. I'll take you with me. Come on. Hi, guys. Hi. I smoked one of these. This peacock. Yeah. This one, definitely. Here it is. Yeah. I wish I had a glass for that. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. What and about? Then look at this box. Yeah. I think that box is really nice. Oh, so
This is beautiful. It's, it's from a tent. Justin. Justin. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Do you have the bronze ones? The two on the right? No, I, I, no. I say no. I've seen this at the Matroc. This would be good for Easter. It just keeps going. Merci beaucoup, madame. Merci. Oh. I don't know what it, why I'm into these sculptures. I've always wanted one of these. C'est joli. Oui. Nous, on nous dit. Vous avez le 1 et 2. Wow. C'est à chaque euro le livre. C'est un master. Oh, look at these. Huh? You like this frame? Definitely. Oh. <laughs> but what do you think about these two? How beautiful we, we these are. Yeah, I mean, they're okay, but do you see the, the pepper knees, I think? Yeah. This uh, Mary is pretty. That was quite the surprise. We had no idea that there was going to be a big vide grenier today. We had guests today and they wanted breakfast at 8.30, which was great for us because that gave us time to set up breakfast and then head out. It was about a 25 minute drive and we showed up and it wasn't what I expected. I thought there was going to be around 50 to 100 people. I think there were like almost 200 vendors because it was indoors and outdoors. Right 
we found good parking, had to park up the hill. I was waiting for Justin. He was like, just go out, just get, get started. I didn't have my V Grenier bag. I didn't have any of my money. So I'm waiting for him at the bottom of the hill. Like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. And the first thing we found today happened to be this pewter, beautiful item. And I believe 90% certain that this is what they used to drink alcohol out of oh really it is this is an old cup oh wow definitely i like how it's cool because it's obviously that there's a thumbprint right there on the bottom for you to hold it i never would have even thought about that it's a seashell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. but it's for your thumb and that's how you would do it another item similar to it are these justin really wants them i think he may want to give these to his dad i'm not sure but these are wine tasting cups so Mr. Juicy, anything here that you love? Oh, you can't wait to say. Uh, what was your favorite thing about today? Going on the Vie Grenier with you. But the favorite thing that we bought today, mm -hmm. um, I think it's a tie. Tie. Oh, oh okay. what is it? What is it? Well, <laughs> uh, you actually saw it before I did. Okay. But uh, the more I see it, the more cool what I think it, it is. Oh. It's this old candle holder yes it, look at that yeah that is fantastic it's a tie so it's between this one okay and um that which i'm wearing today we <laughs> um had no idea i was searching for a nice little down jacket but uh jenny found this and uh i really like it it's comfy it's lightweight yeah. and it's perfect for the fall yeah looks really nice on you it's perfect size you were um you what you weren't sure that it was going to fit because you didn't think that the arms were going to be long enough yeah. that's the problem with people that are six four like justin and since we're on the topic of justin he found this and he's finally, finally, finally willing to share some of the paintings and drawings that he's been finding. So this is from an artist called Joubert and it looks like he lived in Lector, which is a beautiful village. We actually looked at a few homes in and around that area. So we're excited uh, to present this for you. It's from the early 20th century it, when uh, it yeah. says début. Yep, it's from the beginning of uh, the 20th century, so the early 1900s, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's a watercolor, so yeah. it's really beautiful. The frame is a gold gilded frame, and I do believe that it's older than the actual watercolor itself, definitely. What was your favorite thing that you found today? Everything, absolutely everything. I love everything. And you know, today wasn't so much of a theme, but I'm with you on this beautiful candlestick. I mean, candlestick holder. It's absolutely amazing. It's ornate in its design. It's heavy. It has the, the actual handle for your finger. I've seen things like this, but I don't usually gravitate towards them because they're priced so high. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before, at least not where I can actually touch it in my hands. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's 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 a beautiful. I do have a thing with baskets, so I was lucky to find this one, this beautiful cute shape. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, I have a few more baskets up, upstairs, <laughs> so this is one. I'll part this one. I'll share. We have a nice melange today. What's the story with this uh, green? It, it, I would call it almost like a, a pie bowl, but what is that? Yeah, it looks like a pie bowl, huh? It's a fruit bowl. It's a vintage fruit bowl. Oh, there, wow. There's not a mark, uh, fortunately, but it's a beautiful beautiful bowl that can be used all year round. I've explained, or I will explain, that to be great for fruit. Yeah. Yeah. The fruit bowl, uh, my number one choice when it comes to fruit bowls is always to put fruit inside of it. <laughs> well, you can put ornaments in here. You can. Um, you could put yarn. Uh, balls, yarn, Ooh. books, paper towels, Paper towels. Books, letters. Letters. Mail. Mail. Paper. Keys. No, because the keys would fall out. You know what would be really good for keys is this beautiful bronze peacock. Oh. Peacock dish. Oh, this would beautiful. be really good for keys. Um, any interesting stories? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got an interesting story. Let's see if it'll be the same one that I have. No, you share yours first. 
You came up with the idea, so I will acquiesce to you. Okay. Do you notice? Do you see this beautiful provincial? I mean, this thing is like, just, just, let me just, let me just stand up. Let me just show it to you. Oh my goodness. This gargalette, once used for water, actually has its lid, which is so hard to find. It's so hard to find these. I went up to the guy. Justin was off on his own somewhere. I, and he was standing in front of it. And I had already walked by him. And he didn't have it there. He was smoking a cigarette. And uh, I said, hey, um, that pot over there. And he tells me the price, like, right away. And I was like, well, can I look at it? So I bring it up. I'm like, oh, is this, is this ancient? Is this really, you know, old? And he goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, wow, it's really well preserved. Basically, it's prop. You know, it's very clean. And he says, yeah, but you got a few little chips here. You can tell by the glaze that it's old. I said, it's, it, it's incredible. I said, thank you very much. I'll come back with my husband. I went and grabbed Justin and we were already on the other side of one of the, the rows, right? I said, Justin, do you see that white man over there? That man standing smoking a cigarette? And instantly he recognized him. He goes, oh, Jenny, that's the same guy we saw at the, um, uh, at another Vid Grenier once. Show, yeah. yeah, outside of Montrejo, and you were arguing with the guy. I don't remember these things. And for me to be very argumentative, I guess that is can be a Jenny trait, um, especially when it comes to things that people are trying to sell me and I just don't believe what they're saying. I basically call it BS. So I don't understand why this time around I... I agreed with him and I said, yeah, this is authentically old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like sometimes you walk around things and you get a different angle. Uh, sometimes you wait a couple of weeks. And I even told him, I said, you know what? I like to look at things and then walk away for two weeks and come back and he laughed. <laughs> so uh, at least that was good. But Why is it still there? How come nobody swooped it up? Um, because I think the pricing was too high. The pricing, yeah, yeah. these are expensive. But, so good today. Oh, thank you. So do you, so, sweetie. No, it's you, are, you are handsome. Um, so is that the story you wanted to share? <laughs> that was going to be the story I was going to share. Yeah, yeah so you <clears throat> said I was argumentative with him last time. We walked away, and it was there today. Mm. Yeah. Not only was she argumentative, but it was one of those kind where she continued mumbling under her breath for the next five minutes about it. So when she said today... Oh my God, I found a gargoulette. It's perfect. I cannot believe it. I was really excited. And then I looked and I saw where and who it was. And I went, oh, this is going to be a tough one. Because um, I think Jenny, sometimes um, she can hide in the crowd. But the really tall American guy with the bad French accent, it's kind of harder for me to hide. So I thought it was going to be a real tough, tough go at it. But uh, he was pretty cool. Hello, half Asian. Don't you think I stand out in a crowd? Yes. yes sure yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't seem to remember me because he wasn't rude at all. And he was very kind. And I'm um, glad you went back and you bought it and you actually talked him down even more. Yeah. Got a better deal. Yeah, it was nice. Would this fit in here? Pardon That'd be me? great if it did. Oh, I was wondering if this pot would fit in this basket. No, but I don't no, think so. Mm -hmm. No, it would be safe. We've got some silver plated spoons. Yes. That uh, are really cool. I don't know if you saw this, but they've got leaf engraving on the back. Beautiful, it's, right? It's got to be a coffee bean. Justin's job. I'm the photographer. Justin is the <laughs> polisher. So you will be polishing up that. Yes. A lot of silver for me to polish The peacock. Today. These, these aren't necessary. God, this coquillage theme is really oh. something else. I really like the color. At first, I thought it was a little odd, but the color is really growing on me. They match the uh, provincial right. pots. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a nice little curated theme here. I don't know how we get so lucky with finding things that just kind of end up going together, you know? Yeah, good. High five. Congratulations on a great day today, sweetie. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bring her in. Bring her in. <laughs> that was the most awkward thing in a long time. Blooper! No, that's not a blooper. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.
Goodbye. So I'm going to do a little roundup for you. Here are some knives. There are two sizes, 1800s Longchamp asparagus tray. This is just the tray in itself, but still a beautiful piece. This would be lovely for the holidays or actually any time of year with some lemons and limes. Thank you, Michelle. Name dropping you. Hope you don't mind. She came up with a really good idea for the holidays. I've said that we normally display fruit anyways in a bowl, but not purposefully. Like we never just have a display dish with a specific type of fruit. So I think that would be very, very lovely for those of you that like to have tabletop centerpieces. And Sabine, I know you have bought these from me before for a friend or for a family member. I cannot believe I found more. Um, this is the very typical Tradition France CHP with the iconic lion heads. So the French onion soup bowls, a nice set there. Let me turn it over to show you. Silver, and they are marked. I'm just gonna give them a good polish. I love that design. This would be lovely for um, yogurt, for sugar, for desserts, your mousse chocolat. Oh, so beautiful. This is in really good condition, preserved really well. It does have its crackling, but I love that. As I always say, it adds to its charm. Has a little bit of the green glaze, so I wonder what the history on that was. This little bronze beauty, this peacock, again, I've been finding a lot of things from the early 1900s. This would have been from probably 1920s, 1930s era. Almost a hundred years old. Beautiful. See you in a couple weeks, friends. Take care. Au revoir.